So CIG vibration reading um, for the um, Cancer Sun Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration that you guys bring. Um, for you guys is the tower moment in this month for you guys. Um, this month is the month of the wheel of fortune and you guys have the energy of the tower moment okay so whatever the situation is and whatever that was happening um, the energy of the tower moment is going to be coming down and this is going to be good whatever the situation is and whatever that was transpiring in um, your life there it's going to be an end that is coming to it so a tower moment is definitely coming so month of March is um, the wheel of fortune so whatever needs to leave your life in this month of March just let it go because as you let it go um, you're going to be finding out that things are going to be much much better for you and this is going to be positive so wonderful positive energies um, uh, even though you have the energy of the tower moment it's going to be good because you need to release this situation out of your life okay Alrighty, um, listen to the general readings and please cross watch to see the people who are coming up in your readings. I've changed the format of the readings and this is going to be um, a better. So um, let's go in and let's see what is happening, what is transpiring. Um, the month of four weeks, the two first weeks are going to be good for you guys, but the two last weeks is going to be um, the energy of uh, the last week could be good but let's look and see what is coming out for the cancer Sun moon and rising for the month of March cancer Sun moon and rising month of March you have the two of cups in the first week whatever you decide to do in the first week with um, a connection or relationship yes go ahead and do it okay so the energy of the two of cups is a very wonderful it's it could be a connection with someone um, at work uh, um, in work and it could be in love okay so uh, if you meet someone in the first week of March it's a yes um, go ahead second week of March for the cancers um, we're going to be looking for the second week of March for the cancers um, we have the energy of the six of cups so it's the two weeks is emotional um, situation it has to do with past life so um, you guys are working out on past life situation in the two first weeks so whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring it is the energy of past life situation that is coming up in the two first weeks so it could be twin flames relationship it could be um, work relationship with pe with people who are coming back from your soul family and your past life okay as we look at the third week for you cancers um, we have the energy of the hangman and other water energy so it's going to be very emotional and um, this emotional as to you need to look um, within look within in the third week because the hermit is here showing you something about yourself or showing you something about a past life relationship a past life lesson that you have to learn and that is why you have the energy of the tower coming up in the month of March for you guys four weeks for the cancers um, you are dealing with um, the queen of wands this is um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so obviously um, some of you cancers are either married to this person or this person is a sister or this person is a girlfriend or this person is someone you're working with but whatever it is look at yourself about a situation with this person because that person could be leaving your life and it was a karmatic situation it was a, a karmatic situation that was happening in your life okay so yeah um, these are situations that comes up because obviously what was transpiring is that you and this person, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, was really having um, a life lesson, and the life lesson come up is when you married to these people or these people are friends, sisters or brothers, siblings, or you have to work with these people. But whoever this person is, is a past life situation that you're going through. And most of you, it's your wife or a family member that you're dealing with that is going to affect you, and this person is going to be leaving your life in the month of March the two of cups is here with the six of cups so obviously a lot of you are working uh, out um, situation with past life relationship and the three of Pentacles is here so you're going to be kind of um, connecting or reconnecting with this person to work out whatever the situation is um, this is um, a union that you need to finish 
a past life lesson with this person so whoever this person is that is going to be coming up in your life is definitely you need to work in collaboration to resolve whatever the situation is because there is family um, that is involved for some of you it is a uh, um, situation with uh, your relationships uh, um, if you're married if you're not married or people who are coming in your life and you have to work that out six of cups with the angman for the for the cancers in the month of March um, we have um, the seven uh, six and two eight of cups you're leaving a situation behind you're deciding to end a marriage a relationship or a working relationship with an um, whoever it is so that is what is leaving your life so you have walking away so you cancers are going to be walking away from something in the month of March whatever it is that you're walking away from you're thinking about you you, you realize that there is no other um, the res resolution you're going to be walking away from this situation so what's coming up for the third week going in the fourth week um, for um, the uh, cancers in the month of March a transition a transition a ending so some of you who are married to an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius you there is an ending that is coming to your marriage or your relationship um, this could be that it could be your mom that is going to be passing over if she's an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, in the fourth week so there is definitely an ending that is coming up so if you are dealing with someone Whoever this person is they could be sick they could be um, it could be a sister who is sick there could be a passing over that she's going over to the spirit world things are not looking good I'm seeing you leaving a situation behind and definitely the tower moment comes up for you guys okay the three of Pentacles and the eight of cups what is happening um, for the cancers with this energy in the month of March you make you have to make a decision you definitely have to make a decision so in the second week a past life a past family situation you have to make a decision because this is about to end and whether or not you want it to end the, the universal angels and guides are going to be coming in to remove this out of your life so uh, whether or not you make the decision it's going to be happening so you just have to go with the flow because it's definitely going to be happening the hangman is here in the third week and the eight of cups and debt transition okay so what is this happening for the cancers in the month of March definitely you're going to be overcoming the situation okay so um, um, the Prince of Pentacles um, there's coming an end to the as some of you who are in relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you could be leaving this person okay you could be ending a relationship with this person um, whoever this person is you have been thinking about um, this relationship and this situation and you're going to be ending this relationship and the situation with this person whoever this Knight of Pentacles is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn definitely an end is coming in between you and this person so we're asking the Universal Angels to show us what is the outcomes for the cancers in the month of March 2019 what is the outcomes um, the outcomes is uh, the energy of justice justice okay so um, this is good because what is happening is that definitely um, divorce um, is going to be happening if you're in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius divorce is going to be happening for the rest of the sign it's okay some of you who are in a relationship with an um, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the ages of 18 and 45 there is also going to be a divorce that is coming in an ending of a relationship okay so justice is here justice against uh, a, a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, however way this is uh, there is ending there is divorce there is lawyers there is divorce so your relationship is uh, going to be ending um, this relationship needs to leave your life so you can start a new so for you can it's, it's as if um, it's going to be horrible no um, sometimes things needs to end so that new things can begin in your life and this is going to be wonderful whatever the situation that is transpiring um, some of you are definitely <coughs> sorry um, sorry some of you are definitely trying to work out a situation between you and your partner and you have to make a decision 
uh, justice is going to be making this decision for you definitely um, the legal something legal so it's definitely um, divorce or, or or separation is going to be happening and the tower moment bring this because whoever this person is or this situation is you have to end it and maybe you were just struggling not to end it and it is going to be ended because um, this is better for you because the universe is going to be showing you that this is a better for you it is um, definitely um, definitely um, something that needs to be ended um, or else these energies would not have been coming in so in the first week um, whatever that transpired between you and someone else this is someone from a past life this is definitely a past life lesson that you're learning you're going to be working together to make a decision so you could be decided how you're going to be splitting it up all the family um, when you're going to be seeing the kids but a legal situation comes in where um, and legalities so justice so it could be child custody child battle and that sort of a thing but definitely a divorce is coming in and definitely some um, separation is going to be happening and this is going to be good the eight of cups is here which is uh, definitely the endings endings of relationship endings of family situation whatever situation that was transpiring this is ending okay so ending of relationship ending of uh, family situation is coming in for you guys okay so it is a tower moment of endings that is going to be coming in your life okay you need to release it's, it's a month of uh, you um, um, unexpected endings that is going to be coming in for you guys okay so um, unexpected um, endings um, and uh, um, uh, walking away from situations. No longer serve. Serve you, okay? Wow, unexpected endings, okay? Unexpected endings, walking away from situations that no longer serve you. Okay, um, yeah, um, definitely a legal situation is coming up with family kids. Um, it's definitely um, family situation legalities. Um, some of you who are dealing with the Queen of Wands, there's definitely an ending that is coming in. Um, you can see this. Um, some of you who are dealing with um, um, a young person it can be a child of so a legal situation this is going to be ending also and um, if it's child custody battle and that sort of a thing that is definitely going to be ending you're going to be okay but for most of you who are married to the Aries Leo or Sagittarius there is an ending that is coming in the third week is a week where you're going to be looking at yourself because um, the energy of the hermit is here you're going to be really really looking at yourself the energy of the hermit is here and you're really going to be looking at yourself and the situation justice comes in and make a decision and you're definitely this reading takes um, 50 minutes so if you'd like to find out who and what is going to be leaving your life it is going to be good if you um, connect um, connect with us and uh, um, with on the months and then you will have the rest of this reading okay so what are the messages the unicorn we're working with a magical unicorn magical unicorn for the month of um, March and we're looking at the messages for um, you guys I don't know why it's happening <laughs> okay so for the cancers we have card one and we have card card one and card two okay so choose card one or card two 
if you choose card one it's a definite yes I don't know what is happening a definite yes it's coming up but the water signs are getting this yes answer and you see a shuffle 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 the card so whatever you were thinking when you were listening to this reading it's a yes whatever is um, if you uh, had a feeling that something was going to leave your life yes it's going to leave your life and it's let it go let it go because it, it, it is it is it needs to be um, released okay Card two has the energy of just be yourself just be yourself whatever if you choose card two it is saying to you just be yourself whatever it is just be yourself um, don't try to change things don't try to make things happen just be yourself okay that's all the universe is asking it's just for you to be yourself things will be okay and yeah it's a hard um, um, pill to swallow but it's okay you'll be okay so I want to say thank you to all the youtubers and if you want to see the extended of this reading please connect with us on on demand uh, use the link below and it is just a dollar 99 and I'm wishing you a wonderful month whatever you need to let go let it go because um, it will be better namaste so welcome on the moms and we are going to be looking and seeing um, the depth of this reading now the central is has definitely to do deal with um, family issues um, issues from past lifetime that you're dealing with in this lifetime and uh